I'm the biggest Swifty in the whole world. I think she is the most genius songwriter. Yeah, and Olivia Rodrigo's making it clear there's no bad blood between her and Taylor Swift. That's so good. After fans were convinced Olivia's new song, The Grudge, was about Tay. My undying love, now I hold it like a grudge. Now I hear your voice every time that I think I'm not enough. And Liv shutting it down, addressing the alleged feud in her cover story with Rolling Stone, simply telling the mag, I don't have beef with anyone. Quote, I'm very chill. I keep to myself. I have my four friends and my mom, and that's really the only people I talk to ever. There's nothing to say. She just like works so hard and is such a storyteller and uses such specificity, and I'm just obsessed with her. Yeah, Olivia's got nothing against Tay, but she does admit she has a big mouth, and it's something that she's had to learn to control in the music biz. I write diaristic songs, so of course everyone's going to have their own interpretation of it. I'm just so happy that I get to do this for a living. And Liv has lots to celebrate. She just dropped her highly anticipated sophomore album, Guts. I used to think I was smart, but you made me look so nice. New album got to this new talk vampire kind of feels like a, a natural progression, a natural step forward um, in my like life and, 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 and sound and music. But the 20 year old Grammy winner says she felt pressure following the success of her first one, Sour telling Rolling Stone she couldn't write a song without thinking about what other people were going to think of it. There were days I found myself sitting at the piano, excited to write a song, and then cried. I consider myself a songwriter before anything, cause just because that's the thing that I take the most seriously in my life. I'm really proud of the fact that, you know, the songs that I have written have resonated with people and hopefully um, help them feel seen in um, difficult moments. Well, Guts is being seen and heard. Vampire debuted as her third Billboard Hot 100 number one song. I've made some real big mistakes, but you make the worst one look fine. I should have known it was strange. And for Olivia, Guts will always represent a special moment in time. This album encapsulates growing up and figuring yourself out in the world and the awkwardness of that. I'm gonna keep writing about my life and writing from my heart and anything else that happens is just icing on the cake.